Allah. Alright, ready to clap. One, two, three. Hello, Assalamualaikum. Selamat datang ke... Bora. Space. Yes, uh, and today we have a very special guest. Betul. Kita ada Sofia Liana. Daripada DFAM. Nanti ada effect kan? Ada. Boom. <laughs> Tang. Hi. Semua ada. Hi. Oh, Hi, Sofia. Akan ada effect nanti. Akan ada. <laughs> okay. So, editor kita akan buat semualah. Nanti. Hey, Aku... <laughs> Nak dengar tu Ya Allah boleh <laughs> boleh Sofia thank you so much Sebab datang Sudi meluangkan masa Dan tenaga ke sini Jadi Jadi Biasanya kau yang kena intro Because you know her Betul. Okay, okay, ah. okay. Aku, aku agak nervous lah Sebab kau Sofia ada What the fuck We were having conversations Betul. Like a normal person just now Aku tak boleh Aku malu lah okay, Alah dia, dia Dia buat-buat malu je ya, Biasa lah tu Biasa tu <laughs> Okay like, never mind Tak apa Kita ignore it Okay <laughs> Okay, you've been like uh, rapping for yeah. People know you as a rapper, right? Mm-hmm. Right. And would it be safe to say that you? Because I saw like your first video of you rapping, which was like a, which was like five years ago. Wow. Yeah. yeah five okay. years ago, like you were in Cap City, if I was not oh, wrong. Oh yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. What, what was that? What was that video for? Was that like your debut? No, itu sebenarnya I ada banyak freestyle I buat. Oh, okay. Macam All right. dalam archive, archive uh-huh. I tu, mm-hmm. ada banyak. Banyak gila lah yang rap-rap I buat macam suka-suka. Mm-hmm. Okay, alright. Uh, so, ada satu ni I buat and I rasa time tu I ada street brand ah. dengan Cap City. So, I keluarkan topi-topi dengan Cap City macam a collaboration. I see. Mm-hmm. Oh, you you guys memang collab with each other? Yes. So, it's like your business dengan dia punya business? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, sekali-sekali. Okay. Joint venture. Ah, mm-hmm. okay, okay. Yeah, okay. so right. joint venture. Wait, dia, dia mm-mm je. <laughs> Biasanya tu for a while. Dia tak cakap apa. <laughs> Biasanya macam tu okay. for a while. Okay, <laughs> okay Sofia. Saya nak tanya. Sabar, lah. eh, sabar. Kita okay, nak cerita masih, dulu. Okay, okay. okay. Uh. So, uh, sebabkan kita ada collaboration uh, street brand. Okay. Uh, so, kita nak promo lah. Mm-hmm. So, kita nak promo baju yang Sofia pakai tu sebenarnya uh. first time Sofia buat baju instead of topi. Uh-huh. Uh, so, I did that. So, the the video and the rap is for an intro of my brand lah. Mm. Dan Sofia saja je post dekat YouTube, post dekat Instagram time ah. tu. Saya saja sebab ada content. Yep. Lepas tu tak sangka macam dekat Insta eh no no, dekat YouTube. Mm-hmm. Dia punya views okay lah. I mean yeah, like, I mean it's, it's you know, quite a good like, number of views. <laughs> quite a good, good number of views. <laughs> <laughs> quite a good number. Yeah, bro. for uh-huh. a one minute punya video je exactly. sebenarnya. Exactly. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ah, Damn. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then, like after, was that like the start of your rap career, or like where 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 did it start? Me lah, kau cerita. Ah, okay, oh, cerita. Oh, okay. So Sofia ni datang uh, macam kata apa kalau kau beli Vitagen, kau akan dapat banyak banyak terus. Uh-huh. So Sofia ni ada team dia. Macam oh, Vitagen dia. <laughs> okay. Eh, Vitagen yeah. ada lima enam lah. Ah, tapi dia sebab uh, ada orang yang tak suka orin, ada orang yang tak suka tu seorang buang tinggal tiga je. Oh fuck. Ah, so dipanggil <laughs> D fam. D fam. Ah. Bukan, Super girl. Dia bukan defam, dia bukan defame, dia bukan, bukan. Dia, bukan, dia, bukan <laughs> dia defam. Defam. Wow, saya lari pula kucing. Yeah, yeah, sebab, <laughs> ah, kan nak tanya juga, masa awal-awal tu ada ke dapat uh, orang sebut macam, eh defam. Haa, uh-uh, banyak kali. Yang defam macam, fresh ke? Ah, uh, tepukan untuk defam. Wow. <laughs> yang macam wow. confident dia. <laughs> yang macam kita orang pun macam, alah. Wow. <laughs> diorang tak double, double check pun nama dengan diorang? Uh, just... Tak sangat. Wow. I mean, maybe diorang just, Uh, tak tak pasti tapi dia orang tak tanya tapi hmm, dia orang cakap je ah uh, selalunya dia, dia macam tu lah tu namanya confidence satu bintang tu betul <laughs> satu bintang dia confident tapi satu bintang <laughs> apa ah, dia sama macam insomnia next time dia start out Aha. semua orang insomnia wah oh tu baik saya apa kira sebab orang tahu nama i mean disease insomnia Aha, so yes. orang akan ter relate dengan yes, sebutan yeah. tu orang tu pun so. sama juga juga dengan fam hmm. dengan farm dia hmm. dia sama sebab dia nak Melayu kan ke Dia nak Mak Saleh kan Ini ah. 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 ingatkan Mak Saleh ah. So dia macam Deform ah, Okay Ke British ke Deform I guess that will work I guess that will work okay. Okay. So it started like well, With this uh, group lah The trio lah Yes okay. Tahun berapa lah Sofia Tahun apa Start Ah uh, Debut Defam? Yes. Hmm. Uh, 2015 kot. Damn. Yeah. Kau sekolah lagi ah, tau. Dah agak dah. Yeah, Diorang akan cakap orang sekolah. I was like 7 years ago. No, aku 19. 7 years ago. Masuk belajar sekolah tu. Oh, Masuk college. College, college. Okay lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, nak, nak bagi tahu lah. First-first macam, first-first kita orang, saya lah saya. Uh, Haris dengan Defam dulu. Uh-huh. Macam, damn. 
Mana datangnya budak-budak ni? Yeah, yeah, ha, yeah. Sebab, like I don't know where, that's true. Uh, first, dia macam, kita masa, pada masa tu, kita tak ada macam girl group yang macam ni tau. Pada masa tu. That's yeah. true. So, aku Betul. rasa macam defend ni macam asal dia keluar time ni tu. Macam terkejut lah. Macam, uish, damn, ni apa tu? Sebab muzik pun tak macam, kita dulu kita tahu tau muzik Melayu macam mana. Mm-hmm. And all. Tapi muzik defend pada masa tu, macam, uish, ini Mak Saleh punya style ni. Ni mm-hmm. luar negara mm-hmm. punya... That's music facts. ni Betul? So macam mana Korang boleh decide Macam Ui boleh ni Boleh pergi macam ni Nak bawa Sebab kita tahu Crowd kita Macam-macam kan yes. uh, Nak dengar yang Jenis-jenis ni Nak ada cinta macam ni Nak macam tu Tapi macam ni Defend boleh berani Untuk keluarkan Macam tu punya Masterpiece Ooh. Ooh. Um, I rasa sebabkan Dia baru mm-hmm. Ma- mm-hmm. Untuk 2015 Benda tu Actually sangat for, foreign lagi Masih mm-hmm. foreign mm-hmm. Uh, Dengan beat-beat tu Dengan yeah, style betul. tu yeah, Dengan exactly. menari kan um, So kita pula Kenapa kita terfikir nak keluar juga macam tu Sebab uh, Pada mulanya kita orang penari So bila kita menari Kita memang menari dengan beat-beat yang macam tu mm-hmm. So kita rasa macam Kenalah jadi diri sendiri betul tak betul. Mm-hmm. So bila jadi diri sendiri tu uh, Itulah Unsur-unsur um, elemen yang kita dengar ataupun kita menari. So, mm-hmm. bila kita nak keluar as a group mm-hmm. and I feel like time tu memang memang Sofia dah fikir dah, okay, tak ada group ni, confirm mm-hmm. jadi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> betul, <laughs> betul. Confirm boleh jadi. <laughs> <laughs> tak kisahlah keluar lagu macam mana pun. Nah, ha, ya. Macam tu, time tu. Uh, but, we use we use that platform to really create something different lah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Dan kita berkenal dengan uh, ramai kawan time tu. Mm-hmm. Actually ramai kawan. So banyak kawan dalam industri muzik juga. Sebab kita mm-hmm. orang menari pun kita orang start menari backup artis-artis. Yeah, so betul. kita orang oh, kenal lah. Oh, so you guys went from like backup dancers yeah. to like the main stage itself? Yes. Ooh, yeah. And like few years. Like mm-hmm. few years wow. nari macam tujuh tahun kot nari macam tu. Wow, lama. Yeah, because kita orang nari daripada habis sekolah. Yeah. Wow. Macam I jumpa manggis dengan Azira tu mm-hmm. Umur 18, 19 macam tu dah jumpa I see. Were they like the same age as you during that time? Oh, no, no We are one year apart from each other Oh okay, alright, yeah. alright Not that bad lah Faham? Yeah. Tahu ada satu cerita di mana Time tu aku tengah intern dekat Music Music uh-huh. uh, Oh ya yeah, ke? Ya yeah. Aku intern situ? Aku intern dekat situ Damn. Pada Nangis masa sikit. tu eh, <laughs> Intern je kak <laughs> Oh dia tak ada audition eh Tak ada, tak ada <laughs> Dia tanya boleh interview orang tak hmm, Boleh budak ni ambil lah macam tu lah. <laughs> oh, okay. So pada masa tu aku interview Mas Idayu okay. uh, Dia ada buat Saya pernah nari untuk Mas Idayu juga Itulah ceritanya hmm. Saya jumpa Azira Time tu sebagai backup dancer uh-huh. Dekat satu music video uh, uh, apa Mas Idayu tengah buat mm-hmm. So okay. pada masa tu Tengok lah orang tengah perform Orang tengah shoot music video uh-huh. Aku ada nampak Azira tau kat situ okay. Tapi time tu bukan defend lagi tau Dia uh-huh. just backup dancer This je Ya yeah, sebab kita orang uh-huh. Buat job-job macam tu lah Jadi uh, music video dancer mm-hmm. Uh, jadi AJL punya dancer, uh-huh. Anugerah Meletok punya dancer. Memang kita in-house. Maksudnya oh, wow. uh, kita orang punya group tu uh, memang selalu dapat job tu. Mm-hmm. So, kita memang daripada dulu macam masa time ada mentor. Mentor pun kita cover semua. Damn. Sapu semua lah. Anything uh, so back ki- dancer, saya, saya, saya. saya. Uh, oh, dia oh, macam yeah. dia, dia panggil lah koreografer kita orang. So koreografer mm-hmm. kita orang yang cari dancer. So kita ah. orang memang, memang dah start dancing way back then ah macam mm. memang lama tau so uh, menari tu memang dah dalam diri yes ah, yes wow. aku bayangkan aku nampak dia macam eh tiba-tiba macam eh dia ni menyanyi tu hai tahu aku nampak dia jadi backup dancer <laughs> je sekarang uh-huh. the main stage is main stage her spotlight on her yeah that's the guys go ada effect tepuk tak ada, ada tapi ada. jauh dia datang ni I tak sure which one <laughs> okay. I tak sure which okay, one betang okay. dia nanti kita letak kat YouTube je lah ok <laughs> boleh tak ada masalah tak ada masalah so sepanjang uh, perjalanan tu uh, banyak tak benda-benda yang tak best daripada iyalah korang start mena- korang start kenal dah lama hmm. you know start menari bersama-sama lepas tu ada phase lain korang masuk pula which is menjadi artis sendiri so uh, apa benda yang paling tak best sepanjang perjalanan tu hmm. um tak ada yang betul-betul ingat lah. Sebab mm-hmm. kadang-kadang kan ada bad experience tu kita ingat sampai, yeah, sampai yeah, bila-bila yeah. tak. Tapi macam macam surface-surface jenis yang yang tak tak best tu kita tak cuba ingatkan selalu lah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tapi dalam perjalanan tu memang ada of course. banyak sangat yeah, oh, benda <laughs> terjadi. <laughs> ya, dia macam tu. Dia memang <laughs> macam tu lah. Ah. Dia memang macam tu. Cuma macam mungkin we were younger. Mm-hmm. Uh, before so tak ada siapa nak advise kita dengan kontrak hmm. 
You know? Oh, so yeah. you guys got like basically fucked over with the contract? Scammed. Ah, no, yeah. oh. I shouldn't say that. But, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but it's not a scam, but uh-huh. much um, it's one-sided. Mm. So, yeah, so yeah, bila yeah. dia terlalu one-sided, uh, it's hard for us to move. And then mm-hmm. bila benda dah jadi tak okay, um, that's the reason why DFAM tak banyak lagu. Because oh. no investment want to come in into us anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, exactly. macam tu. So, so benda tu jadi stuck for few years oh. until we finish the contract. Mm-hmm. Yeah, things like that yang macam okay, okay. hanya korang je lah. Dalam podcast korang je lah yang, yang, yang Sofia boleh explain a, a little bit more detail. But that mm-hmm. is the reason uh, kenapa... Uh, di fam ni tak banyak lagu pada waktu uh, kita aktif dulu yeah yeah betul uh, because we were very active kan yeah mm-hmm. betul because like a lot of Malaysians have this stigma macam like oh okay dah, dah popular pasti dah lepas tangan uh, tak yeah a lot of people uh, like the, think yeah, like that yeah orang tau. fikir macam tu tapi sebenarnya back end uh, banyak sangat benda yang kita sendiri tak boleh nak control you know uh. we cannot control and uh, legal legal things are happening mm-hmm. so macam benda tu banyak mengganggu business side dia mm-hmm. so memang nampak orang nampak kita tengah naik tapi at the same time kita pun tengah struggling mm-hmm. uh, dekat belakang uh, macam tu faham god yeah. damn was it like scam in terms of like payment ataupun like how many songs you boleh keluarkan per year um sort of dia macam bukanlah scam yang macam tu cuma it's terlalu one sided so um kita tak ada rights. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, macam kita nak buat apa-apa pun dia jadi tersekat. Yeah. Se- oh. Lepas tu kita nak move forward pun tak boleh sebab tak ada lagu baru. Mm-hmm. Uh, dia oh. jadi macam tu. Sampai lah kita habis. And habis pun sebab kita tak tahu kan kontrak tu lama macam tu sampai kita rasa macam kita kena freeze mm-hmm. terlalu lama kan. Mm-hmm. So memang lama-lama nama kita pun Yeah, that, that you know, tak, tak stable lah. tau. Ah, uh, yeah, dia, yeah, dia yeah. jadi suddenly dia jadi tak stable. That mm-hmm. is the reason why um, DFM tu tiba-tiba dia nampak macam ada tak ada, ada tak ada, ah, ada contoh. Macam oh. chips more, sekejap yeah. ada sekejap hilang. <laughs> <laughs> tapi <laughs> tapi <laughs> macam uh, all that experience tu pasal Sofia cakap macam Sofia tak adalah simpan benda tu macam as something pendam. terlalu terlalu bad sebab mm-hmm. bila kita tengok sekarang semua tiga-tiga pun individually Uh, doing well yeah, betul. you know uh, kalau kita nak buat defend pun tak ada problem sebab mm-hmm. sekarang ah. kita sendiri boleh control kita dah alhamdulillah ada duit untuk Aha. untuk plan this thing sendiri apa yeah, semua kan exactly. uh, so kita boleh je nak get back together and create something for defend mm-hmm. uh, macam tu but then we also have other things to focus on mm-hmm. which is our individual wow. uh, macam tu mm. Is there ever uh, talks like you guys getting back together? Like macam korang ada borak to get back together? I mean like uh, kita sentiasa je macam berkawan sebab selain DFAM, kita memang kawan pun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you guys so, started dancing together kan? So benda tu macam bukaan ni. Kita bukan kawan yang bekerja je tau. Kita uh-huh. memang kawan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yang kita kenal family dia, kita kenal mm-hmm. parents dia, husband dia macam tu. Mm-hmm. So kita memang rapat. Diorang pun samalah, nangis sama-sama. Hmm. Iba. Macam aku mandi sama-sama <laughs> yeah, kan. Diorang ada benda tu lah. Diorang <laughs> <laughs> tak still tak faham. Itu <laughs> dia, 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 dia mandi dengan all the members yang dalam apa yang stuck dia tu. Semua pernah mandi dengan dia. Andy pun pernah mandi dengan semua orang. Yeah. Semua pun sama lah. Actually, It, I... Ah, kau tengok. <laughs> kau tengok tak? I pernah. Uh, faham. Okay. I Mesti pernah juga lah mandi. Ha, ha. Okay, mandi kira, kira aku punya group of friends lah yang toxic yeah. ni. Sebab kita tak mandi together. Yeah, korang tak ada. Tak tak bonding. Ha, tak bonding. Tak ada. Faham? Tolong ambilkan sabun. Tak ada. Okay. Ha. Alright. Aku... Tolong ambilkan sabun. Ha. Silap eh, aku. Eh, tolong. <laughs> tak tolong. sampai lah. Tak kena lah tak kena. Betul. Ha. Betul. Tak sampai. God damn. Ya Allah. Alright. Ha. Kau tak sampai lagi face tu. Aku tak sampai lagi yeah. face tu. Tapi oh, sekarang shit. kau nak buat dah aneh lah. Sebab dia kena muda sikit. Betul. Sebab supaya dia macam nampak Damn. nampak macam tak mature kan? Yeah, betul. <laughs> ah, fuck. Masa cakap ni kau bodoh, kau bodoh, kau bodoh <laughs> semua macam tu. <laughs> Sekarang ni kalau buat macam pelik lah. Uh, okay, faham. Dah too late ni. Too, too late to join the club lah. Yeah, yeah. Too late. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I do not want ya. Never mind. So like, okay. When you guys like first started. When you guys first started. Okay, you guys were back dancing. Uh, you were dancing in the backstage. Mm-hmm. And like, Dancing at the backstage. Dancing bukan, at the bukan, backstage. Kita, kita Jangan lah. Dancing at the backstage. Yeah. Tapi dancing at the backstage tu <laughs> practice. Ah. <laughs> like who started the conversation of you know let's let's make like a group together. Hmm? Uh, who started? <laughs> Freaking cat. <laughs> who started the conversation that like you we're gonna start a group together? Uh, I think I started it. Oh, wow. you started it. I think lah. 
Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, because, macam mana cerita dia? Because I know the producer. Okay, alright. Uh, Siapa Back then, Brian. Wow. Mm. So obviously lah macam I yang create the conversation, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, I th- I think lah. But then the conversation sebab kita pergi karaoke sama-sama kot. Ah, so kita okay. macam, eh boleh nyanyi, eh boleh nyanyi, eh boleh rap ah, macam tu lah. So ah. kita orang macam baru discover benda tu. And then I suggest je lah macam, eh jom lah kita buat cover. Mm-hmm. Ah, mm, okay. Ha, kita buat cover starts. lah. Mm-hmm. Kita buat cover ke? Kita buat something lah kan? Ya macam sebab time tu muda. Bila muda ni banyak masa tau. Of course. Betul? Banyak masa sangat dia masa dia banyak. Cuma kena bijak je guna masa tu macam mana. Mm. Betul. So kalau you rasa you nak plan future you sangat-sangat tak payah plan. You just enjoy the moment. Mm. You create je. Ha, dia mm. macam tu. So, dia, dia tak tak planning sangat macam okay kita nak kena buat group ni. Kita kena macam ni macam ni tak ada. Mm-hmm. Kita just buat je. Mm-hmm. Ha, time tu dia very uh, macam carefree sikit. Mm-hmm. Ha, tapi <laughs> dia carefree sikit so dia... Dia macam, okay, jom kita buat ni, ni, ni. So, sebabkan tak ada hal bro tu. Mm-hmm. Punya video went viral. Nah, without viral. without boosting. Mm-hmm. Uh, without okay. boosting. Uh, <laughs> kenapa dia point kita macam kita boost? <laughs> kita tak boost. Kita boost. Tak tahu kenapa dia tunjuk someone kita. Someone there. <laughs> so, either some of them. Uh, <laughs> not us. No, like, I mean like time tu, YouTube mm. is very fresh. Uh, uh, macam dia yeah. very fresh. Macam you post tu, you dapat viewers yeah, kan? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Organic uh, semuanya. Yes, mm-hmm. very organic. Organic views are the best. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the and best. it's very fast kan? So, uh, sebabkan tak ada hal bro tu, Orang macam suka lah tengok kita orang tiga orang. Betul. Ha. Bila betul, suka betul, tu, betul. so I just cakap lah, eh jom lah kita buat cover ni. Ni kita pergi rumah produser kawan kita orang tu, uh-huh. Brian tu. Dan kita record je lah. Uh-huh. Kita record yang macam, ya macam, macam simple, selamba je. And uh-huh. then kita record and then suddenly benda tu pun uh, viral. Uh-huh. Uh, the first the first cover, Black Widow. Uh-huh. Uh, that was the first cover. Uh-huh. And then kita orang just macam, okay. Sebabkan kita, yelah. Kanak-kanak Raibina. So kita, 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 kita <laughs> macam, eh, okay, jom buat YouTube channel. Ah, ah, so course. time tu, YouTube channel is something that is gah lah Betul. dekat dalam social media. It's not really um, Instagram yet ke apa ke. Dia <laughs> macam YouTube because people are going to YouTube. Yeah, kan? Tu zaman-zaman Facebook-ish on. lagi. Ah, yes, yes. Yeah, dia masih yeah. lagi dekat Facebook punya face yeah, tu. Facebook lah. era kan. Yeah. Ah, so, uh, kita orang kononnya nak create lah YouTube channel sendiri. Mm-hmm. So, kita buat lah. Kita mm. buat tiba-tiba ada. Lepas kita buat second mm-hmm. uh, cover. Sebab mula-mula orang ingat kita miming juga dekat oh. Black Widow tu. Oh. Sebabkan dekat Tak Dah Hal Bro tu kita start miming lagu uh-huh. orang. Orang ingat kita miming juga. Wow. So sebabkan kita orang ingat kita miming, kita ambil lagu lelaki pula kita nyanyi. Mm. Uh, oh. Sebab Black Widow kan lagu perempuan. Pandai. Mm. That's smart. That's smart. Uh, so I like that. Kita ambil betul je lagi. Kita tukarlah lirik sikit-sikit. Uh, kat situ I start. Uh. I start macam okey lah. Try. Tukar wow. lirik. Wow. 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 At the very young age, you dah pop them hitters. Uh. So. <laughs> <laughs> so kita try, so kita try betul buat and then suddenly we get offered from a lot of um, record labels. Mm, Actually, yeah. Oh, okay. Damn. So it took like what? Like two, three, a few? Mm. How I long think in a year ataupun one year and a half juga. year. Wow, oh, that's still though. a grind. Laju. Yeah. Actually yeah. time tu memang laju yang macam I kerja as uh-huh. part time dekat Louis Vuitton tau. Oh, um, okay. As a personal assistant untuk PR lah. PR uh-huh. Louis Vuitton time tu. For Malaysia. Uh-huh. Baru kerja Buat 4 best. bulan, 5 bulan. Lepas tu dah dapat offer ni, memang berhenti kerja lah. <laughs> <laughs> Dia macam, okay I'll, lah, berhenti kerja I'll lah. I'll come back to uh, buy something. Ya, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Ya, <laughs> yeah, I macam, mm, okay lah. Um, buat lah defense sebab I feel like macam, okay lah. Because kita tak muda selamanya. Betul. So, kita nak try kan. So, kita exactly. try lah. Yeah. Apa yang start namakan... Vital Jin tu Defam <laughs> Asal kau nak bukan dia Vital Jin Dua sekali Sama-sama ah. Sebab dia combination of Nama kita orang tiga orang mm. Oh Mm-mm. Fia Azira Manggis So that's how you get the fam What? Fam Oh What? That makes so much sense Yeah but then um Boleh juga jadi macam family Sebab Mm-mm, we betul? all came from This group called Funky Fresh Family mm. uh-huh. Ah, so dia macam kononnya daripada street dancer tu kita represent lah benda tu. Ah. Ah, so kita tarik jadikan fam. So di fam tu ada dua meaning. It's wow. our nama and our, where we came from. Ah, dia macam tu. Damn. Mm. A bit deep sikit. No, <laughs> tapi that's good. That's good. 
Daripada kita apa, apa asal kita nama dengan Borak Space? Ya, nama apa? Sebab, borak Space. Sebab aku pressure kau tu je. <laughs> <laughs> tak, kan aku cakap sebab kita berada di safe space. No. Oh. Kita panggil Borak Space. Okay. okay. We'll, we'll take that. Yeah. We'll take that. Okay. <laughs> aku baru fikir. <laughs> Okay, dan kalau kita dan berhenti dan dah cakap pasal DFAM kan Kita mm-hmm. cakap Sofia Liana pula mm. Mm. Um, so, 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 so. Awak baru keluarkan single, betul? Mm. Betul Nah Haa, uh, nah Sedap lah Ya ke? Eh, boleh ceritakan sikit ke? <laughs> pasal awak ni bunyi <laughs> macam dekat radio punya oh, ni lah Oh, ya ke? Sofia, nak tanyalah pasal <laughs> nah kan <laughs> Kau dah tanya tak? Dia kata tanya kali kedua lah siap <laughs> Nah kan? Nah, bagi saya, saya suka sangat Saya suka music video pun saya dah tengok sebelum dia keluar Oh, Tengok ooh. macam ooh, Very nice Sangat Aiza. nice Saya ceritakan sikit tak Okay Tenang, honey. Nah tu sebenarnya Kita orang uh, I create benda ni bukan seorang lah mm-hmm. I create oh, benda ni okay. memang Ada team lah kan So macam mana kita dapat topik tu Sebabkan Kita orang tengok banyak sangat isu dekat Especially on social media tau um, Tak kisahlah pasal apa pun Pasal mm-hmm. uh, rumah tangga ke Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pasal government ke mm-hmm. Pasal um, Kawan ke Pasal mm-hmm. apa-apa saja, yeah. um, It's always about Menyalahkan satu sama lain Ya yeah, macam orang lain tu bodoh Ya yeah, orang lain mm. salah orang ni Salah orang ni salah Tapi kita punya salah Kita tak, tak pernah Macam Cerminkan diri kita sendiri mm-hmm. yeah, macam yeah, yeah. Kita pun ada buat salah ke ha, Kita tak pernah tanya benda tu Kita Mereka? straight away macam Oh tunjuk semua kesalahan orang of course, mm-hmm. yeah. Especially on social media kan Um, so benda tu sama juga dengan What's happening to the government Tak kisahlah which government pun ada macam tu mm-hmm. Dia macam it's always continuity of mindset orang adalah macam tu mm-hmm. Faham uh, mm-hmm. So sebabkan mindset tu macam tu So Sofia just perasan kita punya society ni Community kita ni terlalu fokus dengan benda yang macam tu mm-hmm. Especially on social media Benda-benda macam tu akan di pick up And akan dapat uh, highlight Mm-hmm. Ataupun akan jadi viral Betul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, So benda tu sebenarnya kita yang educate Community, community kita Betul. macam tu uh, Betul. Bagi Betul. Sofia so Macam that's sebab why seorang lepas Orang lain pun akan lepas Nak buat lagi Buat lagi, ha, buat ha, lagi. Dia, uh-huh. dia continuity Dia macam uh-huh. cy- uh, cycle Dia macam, macam tu juga yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sebab ke benda tu Sofia rasa macam I, I want to say What what I see lah mm-hmm. Apa yang kita nampak kan? Mm-hmm. So bila kita nampak It's always Salah dia, salah dia, salah Betul. dia. Bukan ta- uh, semua semua orang sila tang- tanggungjawab. Tapi mm-hmm. you punya tanggungjawab, you tak you tak you tak tengok. Mm-hmm. Ha, dia macam tu. Mm-hmm. Semua macam tanggungjawab orang lain yang you sila kan. Ha, macam tu. Ah. Ha, dia lebih kurang macam tu. So, sebabkan benda tu kita orang create lah lagu ni. So bila kita create lagu ni, kita ada message. Mm-hmm. Macam orang punya podcast juga. There's mm-hmm. always a message uh, on the song. Mm-hmm. Tapi kita buat catchy, kita buat yang macam senang orang nak layan. Senang orang nak ingat. Senang orang nak ingat. Mm-hmm. And then also untuk mengharapkan macam new generation ataupun orang yang lebih muda akan suka dan sentiasa dengar lagu tu. Mm-hmm. Uh, beringat at the same time. Uh, benda-benda macam tu lah. So that's how the song mm-hmm. is about. What? I like yeah. that. I like that. It's something different mm-hmm. but maybe it takes some time untuk orang... Sedar mm-hmm. Sebab yeah, yeah, bila yeah, nak yeah, sedar yeah. kesilapan ni pun lama kan yeah, lama. Uh, So lama, mungkin lama. bila lagu-lagu macam ni pun je Lagu-lagu yang ada nasihat tu pun lama juga orang yeah. nak pick up Tapi ah, maybe, maybe cepat sikit Maybe cepat sikit Ya yeah, ke? Ya yeah, because uh, kalau macam if you look at my uh, TikTok content Usually it's just like mm-hmm. really like self-reflecting Ataupun macam know your own mistakes Before you know someone else's mistakes yeah. first mm-hmm. Type of content And a lot of people lah, like whenever I go do my lives ke, ataupun when I'm just scrolling through my DMs, Mm-mm. a lot of people say that much um, those videos help them like move forward a little bit. Yeah. Just, just a little bit faster. Yeah. They're putting them not taking a step, they're taking one step out lah mm-hmm. at first. So the fact that you keluar kan a song like that, just like orang no stop saying shit, I guess, I guess it's already a good step lah. I yeah, guess I'm, I'm going towards step. that direction lah kalau in terms of music. They're mm-hmm. macam... Benda yang uplifting course, Ataupun benda yeah. yang Talking about Real stuff Ah, ah Yeah Yeah, yeah. yeah they, they, uh, Either one lah Is uh-huh. the thing that I like to Express the kind of music I see mm. Okay When when did that started? Like when did you started To feel that You know like uh, I want to Do Something that Benefits everyone Um, 
benda tu start memang daripada awal I started writing. Ah, hmm. okay. Yeah, Even like in your your archives of raps. Yes, ah. archives of rap and also the ones yang mula-mula yang I started with my group and all that. So okay. dia dari situ I built myself as a writer. Uh-huh. And I realize I suka tulis benda yang I nampak uh-huh. ataupun benda yang uplifting. Kenapa uh-huh. I buat macam tu? I fikir sebab dia affirmation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get so, that. bila you mm-hmm. selalu sebut, mm-hmm. uh, benda tu akan jadi your reality, for example. So, mm-hmm. you want to sebut benda-benda yang bagus, kan? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, dekat situ, uh, that is how I create lah. Sebab bila I dengar lagu I, I, could, I macam kiranya mengingatkan diri I juga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like yeah, to yeah. say things yang macam, okay, yeah, yeah, I, yes, I mean this. Mm-hmm. Uh, macam tu, uh-huh. macam, yeah, uh, Ayat ni bermakna dekat I. Yep, yep, Dan yep. juga harapkan dia bermakna kepada orang yang dengar. Ha, ah, macam tu lah. Yeah. Wow. As it should be lah. Ah. Saya sukalah. Saya pernah bekerja <laughs> lah. dengan Sofia dulu. Uh-huh. Aku sangat-sangat orang kata apa, menghargai dia punya cara writing dia tau. Ya ke? Dia punya lirik dia. Nice. Jarang sangat lah. Kalau Sofia siapa je rapper dekat Malaysia ni yang boleh menulis macam Sofia. Dan boleh rap satu-satu, sebiji-sebiji, seketul-seketul ha, macam Sofia. Bulat-bulat. Ha. Bulat-bulat. Orang panggil, ayah ya, orang panggil bulat-bulat kan? Ha. 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 Uh, ada je, I think. Cuma exposure belum sampai ke faham, apa faham. ke. Mesti ada, mesti ada. Mesti macam newer people, dia mesti belajar apa je. Mm-hmm. Uh, daripada orang yang dah buat kan. Mm-hmm. Uh, so dekat situ, I think ada. Tapi macam Sofia, Sofia buat benda yang memang Sofia. Mm-hmm. Uh, macam Sofia tak tiru orang. Ya yeah, doh. Mm. Uh, Sofia ambil inspirasi which is like I look at rappers yang I suka for example. Mm, siapa mm. tu? Mau dia bagi tahu ke? <laughs> um, kalau perempuan uh-huh. uh, I started off with with Missy Elliott mm. sebenarnya oh. because because kita orang oh. menari kan. Mm-hmm. So bila menari kita banyak dengar lagu Missy Elliott. So dekat situ flow semua tu memang Sofia memang dengar dia dia punya flow lah. Mm-hmm. And then Uh, of course Nicki Minaj. Uh, oh. Nicki Minaj tu memang I belajar sebutan tu mm-hmm. daripada dia. Ah. Mm. Sebenarnya macam bulat-bulat-bulat sebab bila I dengar lagu dia, I macam kenapa dia cakap macam clear, clear gila, gila walaupun gila. ayat tu payah. Mm-hmm. Ah, dia Betul. Tahu. Macam clear sangat ayat-ayat dia kan. So dekat situ Sofia belajar macam mana nak bunyi clear bila rap. Ah. Ah. Oh that's a technique? There is a technique. There's a technique for actually, that? Actually Damn. there is a technique. Wow. Uh, it's the same that. as singing. Oops. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Eh, tak boleh. Tak ada masalah. Tak ada masalah. Okey je. Tak ada masalah. Ya. Dia sama macam menyanyi juga. Sebab uh-huh. menyanyi pun ada teknik untuk menyanyi kan. Uh-huh. Uh, rap pun ada juga teknik. Uh-huh. Tapi you kena discover it yourself bila you selalu practice and selalu record diri you. You uh-huh. akan you akan tengok lah. Mm-hmm. Kat mana, kat mana kan. Uh, mm-hmm. Feel you apa semua. Sebab nak bezakan penyanyi dengan rapper ni. Rapper mungkin dia tak tak perlu nak... Uh, Not ni, not ni, mm-hmm. kini, kini tak. Tapi dia kena ada feel. Yeah. Dia kena tahu tone. Intonation you kat mana, macam mana you rap. So perempuan ni kadang-kadang bila suruh rap, dia bunyi nyaring. Mm. Faham? Macam bunyi nyanyi, 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 macam beletir kan. Nyanyi, uh-huh. nyanyi, nyanyi, nyanyi. Ada macam nipis, nyanyi. <laughs> Sebab tu aku fikir every time mak aku marah aku dia rap. <laughs> Sedap tu mak. <laughs> Damn, kalau aku tak beat ni. <laughs> Ya, yeah, tu pasal perempuan dia kena berhati-hati sikit sebab perempuan hmm. dia boleh bunyi macam membebel. Ah. Lah. Kalau you nyeng 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 ada dia, dia bunyi cak ah, sakit telinga. Yeah. <laughs> pasal lagu kan, ni lagu. Tapi kenapa aku ingat mak aku? <laughs> kenapa aku rasa oppress sekarang ni? Betullah. <laughs> Faham. Oh, so there's like a tonation yeah, that you have to play around lah. Yeah, I mean you have to learn lah. So mm. dekat situ you kena practice. So bila you practice, you tahu tone Tone suara you dekat mana You selesa hmm, ah. Dengar okay. ah, Dengar Cuma rap sikit oh, uh, Hello Aku tekan ke <laughs> Tak apa Jangan <laughs> I don't have enough hours To sleep to be rapping This style again <laughs> Rap sekarang <laughs> Tak pandai lah Alah. Rap sekarang Eh tapi eh <laughs> <laughs> Senang je Oh damn There you go I like that flex I like that flex Okay lah um, Haris pernah tengok tau uh, Kita punya audience ni Jenis yang Memang sangat-sangat memilih yeah. Malaysia ni Betul. And bila setengah orang rap Kadang dia cakap macam Dia ni bersajak ke apa Oh ha. Tapi ha? Rap ni sebenarnya Kalau you tengok yang betul-betul Melayu lah kan mm. Yang betul-betul Penulisan Melayu Contohnya macam Siapa eh Sebut je Okay okay Too fat Too fat, oh, too fat adalah orang yang start kan Betul um, Timo eh 
Timo, ah uh, Timo, Timo punya Aha. style, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Nusantara punya style mm-hmm. of rap mm-hmm. kan. Uh, so they started the the Melayu rap. Mm-hmm. Uh, tapi orang guna bahasa yang cantik. Orang mm-hmm. tak guna bahasa pasar sangat. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's why kalau you perasan lagu orang memang evergreen punya type of songs. Betul, yeah, betul, betul. You boleh dengar sampai hari ni. Um, apa ah soalan ni <laughs> terlupa. Saya <laughs> soalan kau macam ni macam mana ni? Aku aku tanya Are you aku serious? Yang tanya. Kau yang tanya bro? <laughs> aku tanya apa tadi? Astaghfirullahalazim. Oh, okay. Oh ya 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 ya. Kan kan aku aku orang apa? cakap pasal saja. Oh saja ah. ya. Ah. Oh tak sebab aku macam pus- dia bukan saja dia macam berpuisi lebih ah, yeah. kurang ah dia Aha. sebab RAP ritma atas puisi ritma dia atas dia, puisi. dia puisi sebenarnya Rhythm tapi and poetry. Yeah. 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 So Aha. it's that So dia lebih kurang sajaklah kalau Betul. nak ikutkan uh, so penulisan tu dia macam pantun sikit mm-hmm. dia macam dia sama je cuma you ada rhythm bila mm-hmm. you baca tu ah uh, macam tu that's why rhythm you kena sedap kalau tak dia bunyi macam sajaklah ah yeah. uh, dia macam tu just, just the flow right yes. flow, is flow so tu yang again. macam akan membuat kat orang feel that's yes, why yes. feel is very important so bila bila you nak rap benda yang deep lah kalau mm-hmm. orang rap biasa-biasa yang macam um, Uh, rumah rumah aku hijau ah tak apa ah uh-huh. dia macam dia cakap pasal rumah dia je uh-huh. macam tu kan tak ada feel pun tak apa tapi bila you nak cerita pasal benda yang pasal manusia punya uh, perangai mm-hmm. contoh mm-hmm. Uh, ataupun uh, life or mm-hmm. love tak kisahlah dia kena ada feel kalau bila kalau tak ada feel tu dia dia out lah dia out lah dia, yeah, dia terus yeah. out dia tak Faham? sampai lah ha, dia macam hmm. ibarat orang nyanyi karaoke dengan orang nyanyi Biasa atas stage, atas stage tu kan uh, lain uh, yeah, uh, Macam yeah, yeah. orang tu punya feel kan lain So kita dapat um, nikmati macam dia punya Rasa dia punya perasaan tu perasaan sekali Perasaan dia yes. bila dia express dengan nyanyian dia mm-hmm. macam tu uh, Dengan orang yang nyanyi je lagu tu uh, uh, Macam tu uh, yeah. Dia sama je so Those are the most important things mm-hmm. lah. That kind of makes a lot of sense okay. Is that why macam A lot of people macam terlepas with mumble rapping Sebab dia punya mood and feel memang just nak Mm. That's swag je. Yeah, that's swag. <laughs> that's why sekarang ni banyak rapper yang swag, more swag. Uh-huh. No more deep deep rapper like tulisan dia macam very tip top ke mm-hmm. apa ke mm-hmm. macam uh-huh. Eminem ke tak ada. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah macam Tupac pun tak ada, macam Biggie pun tak ada. Ah mm-hmm. macam tu. Dia uh-huh. dia more more relax now. Mm-hmm. Um, kalau you tengok dekat US pun and also in Malaysia, kalau you tengok dua-dua macam very relax, very santai sekarang. Yeah, it's, it's, uh-huh. So it's maybe that is the trend now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cuma you kena cari identity you lah sebab everybody is doing that. Mm-hmm. That's so true. what is your what is your uniqueness ah uh, benda uh-huh. lah yang akan uh-huh. bezakan rapper ni dengan rapper ni unless your song is viral. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Betul. Yeah. That's the hard part. Damn. Oh getting a song to go viral is <laughs> fucking crazy. Is is it is it stressful the fact that you're going Very. so low and you kind of need the song to go viral? Betul. <sighs> right because it all uh-huh. a, lot, a lot of singers depend on that, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um you know sometimes You're very good, Ken. Uh-huh. You're very good, but you know you have the talent. Uh. You know you have the talent, but your song is not really out there, out there. Uh-huh. But it's too very stressful, actually, because mm-hmm. uh, it's like so hard to convince people that you you are good mm-hmm. and you can give more mm-hmm. because the support is very little. Mm. So sometimes dia ada ada down dia. Mesti ada downnya dalam setiap artis yang go through. Uh, dengan orang punya music ke apa ke mesti ada satu time rasa nak give up ada satu time yang rasa macam oh i cannot do this it's not my thing apa semua kan mm-hmm. um, my advice is um, always just just go jangan mm-hmm. stop sebab mm-hmm. bila you stop you macam halfway you are halfway there lepas tu you stop ada ha, macam tu mungkin mm-hmm. kita tak tahu Betul. because because we we don't know in five years time tiba-tiba lagu yang you buat Sebelum ni tiba-tiba pula dia naik in five years time kita tak tahu kita yeah, memang yeah, yeah, tak yeah, tahu yeah. because Betul. algorithm ni is very uh, challenging for us to crack the code. Betul. Mm-hmm. Betul. Uh, yeah, so yeah. tak kisah in whatever you do podcast ke mm-hmm. um, drama you you produce a apa tu story drama mm-hmm. ke apa ke sometimes they hit sometimes they tak hit so you just have to keep going and finding great ideas and kenal orang baru. Orang lama okey, mm-hmm. orang baru pun okey juga. Bagi okay. Sofia macam younger generations are very creative. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they also have ideas. 
Hmm. So kita jangan tutup idea tu macam oh sebab dia Budak BBNU lah, hmm. macam tu hmm. And then ah. you tutup idea orang tu sebab orang tu tak ada experience Tak juga yeah. Sometimes they have good ideas that can help you Betul hmm. Tanya lah yeah. Yeah. Tak payah nak ego lah yeah, hmm. Dia ego macam lah. just work with everybody Kalau orang tu serious Orang tu ada minat mm-hmm. uh, Okey je untuk nak dengar orang tu punya style contoh mm-hmm. Ataupun orang tu punya writing Kalau in terms of music Or orang tu punya beat mm-hmm. Because there's a lot of young producers That are super talented actually betul, betul. Cuma tak discovered I yeah. Kalau korang discover I korang DM I Kalau DM Siapa <laughs> boleh buat lagu Kalau DM I, I okay <laughs> I spend you okay je kerja ah, Ada peluang kerja ni bro <laughs> Yeah ah. Pulang kerja ni bro Damn man PMI God damn Betul betul Jeez God damn Because I always think like macam I don't know I think because I hari tu tengok Bohemian Rhapsody mm-hmm. Kat Netflix mm-hmm. And then after that I tengok macam how um, Freddie Mercury went solo For a yeah. while kan Yeah And then like he was trying <coughs> He has to finish like two albums And I could see like You know the stress of Hilang you, orang And everything semua yeah. But you know what Yang beza dia Orang lama kan uh-huh. Kenapa dia orang boleh Sustain Orang punya artist life lagi lama mm-hmm, daripada mm-hmm. orang baru. Sebenarnya lah, benda uh-huh. ni fact. Okay. Macam kalau you tengok Ella, she can pull out a concert of Betul. two days in Aziata uh-huh. and sold out. Uh-huh. Damn. Uh, name me one, hmm. name me one artist yang current eh, now mm-hmm. that can pull off the same thing that uh, veterans boleh pull off. Damn. Two uh. days sold out in Aziata. Ella tak ada lagu baru pun tau. Ya. Yeah. Betul. <laughs> uh, so, you know, Ooh. you you perasan tak? So, sebenarnya orang lama uh, actually lebih beruntung. Sebab orang lama dia start dengan album. Hmm. So, bila dia start dengan album, dia dah ada... Album dulu bukan tujuh lagu, yeah, bukan yeah, sepuluh yeah. lagu. Dia ada macam sort of twelve. Betul. Uh, hmm. Ada yang rajin, ada enam belas lagu, mm-hmm. ada... Part A, Part B, you know, yes, things yes, like that betul. on the CD. Mm-hmm. Um, so, they have more songs to throw out to the market and and mesti ada dua, tiga sangkut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, faham yeah. tak? So, they, they throw more songs, banyak. Betul, mm-hmm. betul. Kita main single. Ah. Betul. Kita main satu. Setiap tahun kita main satu paling, okay, paling kuat kalau you active, dua atau tiga you akan keluarkan. Oh, itu paling betul. kuat? Paling kuat tiga? Kan? Betul. What? Tapi adakah disebabkan uh, macam dulu kita kita tahu kita boleh beli orang punya album tu. Yeah. Sekarang kita nak jual album pun tak boleh sebab masuk pun Spotify. So mungkin adakah disebabkan orang tahan lama pun disebabkan orang uh, punya orang kata apa audience appreciate gila by beli orang punya album. Okay, maybe dulu memang tak ada banyak platform. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, I was there, thinking that was my reason. There is mm-hmm. one thing which is CD. So mm-hmm. CD everybody kena beli CD tu lah. Ya yeah, betul. Lepas <laughs> okay. tu macam Hmm, but now kita ada banyak platform Betul juga Betul. Dia akan jadi struggling kan mm-hmm. Untuk you nak push um, Tapi longevity tu Yang you kena fikir Betul. Sebagai seorang artis Kalau you betul nak jadi artis yang lama mm-hmm. You punya Kehidupan sebagai artis tu lama So maksudnya You sentiasa Lagu you sentiasa dimainkan yeah, 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 Lama yeah, yeah. tau Lama tak kisah Uh, kalau you tengok pun lagu orang lama dekat Spotify still ada numbers. Yes, Betul. million juga tu. Yeah, yeah, so so maksudnya is the song. So mm. it's just for me macam kita ni macam kita keluar single single single. So sebenarnya kita punya choices of sustainability eh. It's very low. It's very low mm. to compare dengan veterans yang, yang sedia ada lagu, sebab lagu, dorang lagu. memang dah ada stock of yeah. songs. Mm. Stock of songs ni yang dah lama tau. So mm. kalau dorang tiba-tiba nak keluar album sekarang pun okay. Mm. Pun boleh kan? Mesti okay boleh je. Sebab Macam Sheila Magic remastered. Ya, yeah, for example. Akan jual. Akan jual tu. Ya, yeah. <laughs> yeah, things like that. That's why Datuk Siti can come up with an album. Betul. And yeah. it will always be sellable because They already cracked the code for that lah. Mm. And I I feel lah personally bila mm. I tengok macam wow. That's why I have so much respect dekat veterans lah. Because mm. they actually know what's going on betul, with betul, the yeah. business yeah. side lah. Because betul. there's always business side. There's always a mm-hmm. uh, the mm. banyak side kan. So. Tapi macam if we think about it pun, there's I mean, I would say there's less for them to do as well. Like all they had to do was first of course. Tapi it was hard. Mm-hmm. Of course it was hard. They had to go get a uh, to a record studio and then like 
sewa record studio which is very like yeah. in, in, expensive as fuck dulu mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. but compared to now we would say like getting to a record studio you you could do that in your own home yes, yeah yeah kind of the, the two different challenges and then during that ah, time betul. all you had to do was like post your song on the radio like mm. if the radio deem it good it will play then after that you already gain which your which is like susah sebenarnya which is like susah kan mm-hmm. dulu now you can just click upload anywhere yeah do and betul. then there's also votings on the radio exactly. for your songs to go up. Mm. So that's why I cakap sekarang ni opportunity dia lagi besar. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I think like right now the old problem is because like again there's like abundance. There's like banyak gila. Mm. Yeah. And it's so hard to like spot out really good talent. You have to like shine through the crack and then like a lot of people grab you Betul. and then a lot of people spread yeah. you around. Mm-hmm. That's why that's why I just rasa untuk kita yang budak-budak baru sekarang ni kita yang kena start buat lagu banyak je. Mm. Nak keluar album tak? Keluar album tu belakang cerita. Mm-hmm. Tapi stock lagu Just you memang... Just keluarkan lagu sebanyak boleh kan? Kalau boleh, you keluar album lah. Sebab ah, bila yeah, keluar yeah, album, yeah. you keluar one time, mm-hmm. you dah ada banyak lagu. Mm-hmm. But then, you can focus on two songs or one song to be the main. Ah, For example. Yes. Betul. So macam yeah. you boleh lah buat macam tu. Uh, so you tak bazir masa you yang tengah muda, yang tengah kuat ni, yang nak mm. boleh pergi perform sana sini ni, uh, you tak you tak bazir masa tu. Mm. And mm. you akan sustain sebab you dah ada banyak lagu. Betul. Mm. So orang tinggal pilih je mana satu orang suka. Mm. Antara sepul- contoh sepuluh, uh, sepuluh lagu you keluarkan, maybe orang tu suka dua. Yeah. Itu paling sikit lah. Mm. Betul. <laughs> Mungkin kalau uh, you punya hardcore fans akan suka semua Betul. ataupun akan suka lima. Average. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, benda macam tu yang sebenarnya I rasa I pun tengah bucket list lah. Macam try lah as mm. as a musician. Okay, maybe that is what I need to try. To keluarkan an album. Uh, yeah, next exactly. year kot, Sofia. Eh, tak pasti. Amin. Dah. Amin. Next year, 12 lagu. Dia man. duduk dekat, <laughs> dia nak create album, you kena duduk studio 2 bulan lebih 3 bulan. Oh, oh, tak buat benda lain, buat benda tu sahaja. Wow. Damn. So basically, if you sacrifice 3 months of your whole year, uh-huh. you might just get like extra-extra after. Yeah. Sebab you, 3 bulan tu, you create 10 benda. Mm-hmm. Uh, macam 10 uh-huh. lagu. Faham. Faham. So betul, mungkin 2 sangkut, 3 sangkut. Uh, yeah, macam tu. Yeah, yeah. Macam mungkin lah. So yeah, you have at least to, ada sangkut pun. And then you uh-huh. boleh kerja dengan ramai producer. Mm-hmm. You tak semestinya kena kerja dengan, dengan satu, satu je. Satu producer sahaja kan. Uh, yeah. Kalau you nak ramai, okey lah. Kalau you nak satu, boleh juga. Tapi satu akan lambat lah. Mm. Betul, uh, betul, 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 betul. Macam ramai, you akan buat orang ni join, orang ni join, orang ni join, orang ni join. Mm-hmm. Buat lagu dengan you. Then you keluarkan. Mm-hmm. Uh. Sofia, ada plan berapa lagu nak buat? <laughs> Sekarang ni Sofia baru macam betul-betul yang early dah siap mm-hmm. ataupun on the way siap lepas nah ada dua ah, baru ada dua okay. sebenarnya right. okay lah tu <laughs> like, tapi like after you post that what that was like a month ago eh, the song uh, nah yeah, yeah, ah, so a no, month I ago think, yeah 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 okay lah after a month you got two songs okay lah tu yes ah. so so kena laju lah tapi mm-hmm. kalau you nak keep keluar 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 mm-hmm. single macam tu tak tak logik lah eh mm-hmm. faham saya punya okay. delivery dah sampai <laughs> 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 go 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 Power Rangers. Oh, fucking legend. Nak keluar dengan Netflix kan? Oranges. Kan? Yeah, yeah, Which, yeah kan? Eh? Dorang, uh, yeah, kan? Dorang oh, yeah, continuation. Yeah, yeah. Dorang ambil the old actors and don't uh, and don't jadi tua. Yeah, don't jadi tua. And oh dorang punya God. anak pula Hantoi continue the legacy. Dah keluar, <laughs> 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 keluar kan? Belum belum keluar, keluar lagi. Tapi yeah, trailer dah keluar. Ha? Eh, dah keluar, dah keluar ke? Dah keluar lah. Ha, dah keluar. Dia tengok dia dah tengok dah. Tengok dah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yang the, tua tu. No, the movie one. The tua one dah keluar yeah. ke? Gentle lah. Yeah. Bapak tipu. Power Rangers kuning, mak dia mati. <laughs> anak dia yang datang. Ha, ha, kan? Tak kena trailer kan? <laughs> Jangan dah... Weh, what? Hakim, dah lama tu. Gentle lah. Aku Weh. rasa kau kena update Netflix kau. What the? Uh-uh. What? Uh, Maksudnya iOS dia tak update iOS tak update lah Weh, Aku ni. selalu orang lain update dulu Faham. Dia bagi tau box Dah elok Dan aku join Faham Fuck Damn nah. Takut nanti kita tengok okay <laughs> Okay Nanti kita tengok Fuck Kau okay, sambung <laughs> Kau sambung tu convo Aku tengah main fuck je What the fuck How did I miss it Okay Alright See you later Okay What Go on Sambung Sambung Hi Sofia Hi So kita baru habis berehat mm-hmm. Aku tengah main fuck je ni So banyak Go so, on tak, <laughs> tak tengok lagi Power Rangers yang tua tu <laughs> Tak percaya Ya sebenarnya tak, tak rugi apa pun <laughs> Damn it Tak best pun lah cerita tu Dia memang tak best Dia dah keluar Eh eh 
Eh, kacau pula. Teruk lah. So, uh, Sofia, yeah. saya nak tanya awak lah. Hmm. Paling best siapa yang awak pernah bekerjasama? Ooh. Siapa? Ha, siapa? Awak lah. <laughs> Itu yang awak nak dengar kan? Suka. Okey, nombor dua. <laughs> nombor dua. Kerja. Saya berada ayah. Kelabu man. Kelabu man? <laughs> Dia juga. <laughs> Kau kelabu man? So, cerita kelabu man ni masa aku shoot music video. Uh-huh. Music video alamak, alamak tu. Uh-huh. Pada tu, mungkin waktu tu malam. So, uh-huh. makeup artist aku mungkin mengantuk ke apa. Uh-huh. Dia Ada mungkin apa? tak sama aku punya... Colour tu Make up kau tu So bila oh. kena lighting Kelabu man man And kau tak tahu Sebab kau colour black Ya lah kan Aduh Dia tunjuk aku Okay, ah, ini, okay. ini okay Keluar, keluar kelabu je Masalahnya nasib baik Lighting tu Lebih kepada macam Merah-merah dengan yes. biru tau Kalau tak dia memang Dapat kelabu, memang kelabu Kalau dia kat putih Punya lighting Dia akan nampak kelabu Betul <laughs> Oh, dia lagi best with Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> Kalau korang dah tengok, tengok sekarang. Ha, dia alamak. Power Rangers Club. Oh, Kau tengok benda ni. Oh, damn. Tengok Kak lah ni. Dah <laughs> oh. lupa dah pasal kelabu ni. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I love that. I Tapi love that so much. Sangat. Kan? I love that so much. Aduh. Dan tu aku oh. rasa macam handsome lah. Aku dah make up sikit kan. Betul. Untuk music video nak shoot kan. Kau tengok kan. macam, uish, kenapa shit aku rasa macam okay, perfect do. kan. Ooh. Okay tu, just Nang nice. Do. Aku masuk, nak masuk. Lagi lima minit nak start shoot. Ui, <laughs> kelabu <Man>. man. Ha? <laughs> Muka <laughs> 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 aku kelabu. <laughs> damn. Sebab tu, I tak confident oh sangat masa shoot you. tu. <laughs> so, kalau korang nak tengok Kelabu Man, korang boleh tengok Alamak <laughs> by Sofa Liana dan Hariza Azman. Mm-hmm. Best go. lagu tu. Dekat YouTube, boleh search je. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Lagu tu pun laju tu. Budak ni tulis. Oh, really? Oh, oh dia actually, tulis. time tu laju lagu laju dia. Laju tulis. Oh, damn. Dia kalau lagu tu, um, kalau beat dengan lagu memberi, mm-hmm. macam orang tulis chorus memberi ke apa ke, uh, idea tu memang sampai. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Kalau that's tak true. memberi, oh proses dia Betul, lama. betul, betul. That's quite true. Lama and then you macam ragu-ragu. So bila you ada, insting you macam ada ragu-ragu tu maksudnya dia belum ah. dia belum belum masak lagi ah, lah. Dia belum masak lagi. Dia hmm. dia masih lagi mentah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> faham. faham. Ah, dia macam almost medium. Dia masih medium well. Belum well done. Ah, belum hmm. well done lagi. Bila uh, Sofia notice yang macam Ui, shit. Saya boleh menulis tu. Haa. Adakah selalu tulis surat cinta ke masa dulu? Eh, tak juga. <laughs> tak juga. Tulis puisi. Sajak. Nak tahu something? Ah, hmm. Silakan. Silakan. <laughs> dulu saya pernah tuliskan sikit-sikit untuk Kepris. Wow. Oh, Terus itu saya best try. Ah, as a ghost writer lah. That time. Sort of, but like not all. Okay. Mm-hmm. But ada benda-benda yang dia tak boleh macam jingles yang dia kena buat yang tak boleh ke apa ke kan. Uh-huh. Ataupun unreleased benda-benda dia kadang-kadang Sofia just macam try-try. Uh-huh. Uh, kat situ lah starting dia. I see. Yeah. So it was like, so that was like the first start yang you rasa macam, oh, okay, kalau ada demand for this thing, that means like I can write. No, but it? but after I I did Defam and uh-huh. I started write, writing on Defam punya songs, mm-hmm. dekat situ baru I rasa macam, mm, I think I can do this. Mm. Ah, macam tu. Dulu tu dia macam berjinak-jinak dulu. Uh-huh. Macam you try, you try. Tapi you tak tahu pun betul ke tak ke. Uh-huh. You tak tahu teknikal, you tak tahu apa-apa. Yeah, 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 uh-huh. yeah, yeah. Ah, tapi once you dah betul-betul in the scene, macam doing the music, mm-hmm. Uh, you dah slowly belajar. And mm-hmm. uh, I rasa sangat untung untuk I. I start dengan foreigner dulu. Mm-hmm. Macam producer atau composer. Dia foreigner. Mm-hmm. Daripada negara luar. Oh, okay. So bila uh, slowly then only I kenal orang yang... Local um, scene? Kat sini. Uh-huh. Yang macam contoh siapa-siapa lah. Uh-huh. Navigator ke apa ke. Mm-hmm. So I dah, I dah boleh combine my... Um, apa yang I belajar mm-hmm. daripada foreigner and also um, macam mana nak balance it dengan kat sini. Punya sound and apa jual, apa tak jual. Mm-hmm. Macam tu. Yeah. I see. Damn. Damn. Siapa yeah. yang dah buat lama ni dia tahu tau apa yang boleh jual, apa yang tak boleh jual. Yeah, you can mm. have yeah, like a tapi kadang-kadang dia luck juga. Ah. Macam mm. luck untuk uh, cepat naik lagu tu dengan mm-hmm. tak cepat naik tu dia luck juga at the end of uh-huh. the day. Yeah. Betul, ada 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 juga lagu Zizi Kirana yang first-first kita uh, tak naik then next year baru lagu tu naik. Ha, dia Betul? macam tu. Sometimes yeah, dia yeah, macam yeah, tu. Yeah, dia yeah. music business ni dia macam 
Memang, memang unpredictable lah. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah. Me, for me lah. Yeah, yang yeah, I dah yeah. ada dalam scene kan. Ya, yes, uh, bila you tak expect benda tu jadi. Mm-hmm. Tapi bila you expect benda tu tak jadi pula. Yeah, ataupun dia halfway je. Mm-hmm. So you tak tahu. Mm-hmm. Betul, betul, betul. So you kena keep creating yeah, je. Yeah. Itu, itu yeah. rasanya dilema kita lah kan. Ha. Kalau nak tulis, ini sedap ni. Ini keluar ha, semua kita suka. Kita rasa macam, Tapi oh, kalau okay. macam, ish. Asal tak ada orang dengar ni. Hmm. Bila macam ni keluar je lah. Lantak je lah. Bagi ada je lah. Menutup. Ah. Ya. Tapi I perasan kalau I tulis freestyle untuk saya saja kan. Mm-hmm. Uh, for content. Mm-hmm. Benda tu selalu ada orang kata engagement. Mm-hmm. Of course. Ya. Yeah. Tapi de- buat lagu lain. Ah. Uh, yeah, padahal sama je tag. Taktik I buat dengan teknik I buat mm-hmm. untuk freestyle I dengan lagu sama je. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Cuma lagu ni dia, packaging dia lain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just, that's true. Just buat freestyle je. Freestyle dia. at the moment, at the core of it, people like it because it's just raw. Yeah. Okay. Betul, so, betul. bila kita mm. bagi rawness tu sikit dekat dalam lagu pun, tapi it's still technical in terms of the yes, chorus exactly. and whatnot mm-hmm. and the mm-hmm. arrangement. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it does not work. It's 50-50. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but mm-hmm. then freestyle works for me. Mm-hmm. Like if I do so any kind time. of time uh, and any kind of freestyle, tak like kisahlah untuk 16 baris ke, mm-hmm. untuk flow era ke, mm-hmm. apa-apa je. Ataupun untuk Instagram I ke, apa ke. Mm-hmm. It's senang dapat views. Mm-hmm. Senang uh-huh. dapat buzz. Mm-hmm. Orang akan share, orang akan ah, macam tu. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. People do like a lot of freestyles more. Betul? Yeah. So macam lepas ni macam mana? Kita buat album freestyle je lah semua kan? Ada, oh, <laughs> why not? No? Just, Senang kan? Yeah, just like <laughs> dedicate satu song tu, just just my freestyle. <laughs> uh. Betul? Man, just just an introduction je. to you. Because yeah. like an album should be like a reflection of who you are as an artist kan? Yeah. So if you start off with like you freestyling and you like freestyling, regardless of what people say, why not mm-hmm. just dedicate one, like two minutes? Just saying whatever you want. Maybe as an intro and outro. Yeah, yeah do, exactly. Betul, right. Do. Kan? <laughs> dah. Dia, dia, dia dah write dua. Yeah, dah dua yeah. dah settle dah. Uh-huh. Lagi empat. <laughs> oh, lagi empat tu. I dah tahu dah producer mana, 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 mana. Ah, ah, okay. Okay. You heard it first. Empat Borak lain. Space empat, empat, empat ni lain. Yes. So, <laughs> kita, empat, kita salah, salah satu daripada producer tu tau. Oh, nice. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. Good job. Good job. Dah secure uh, job eh, lah. Bagus. Di, lah. Awak tak jawab lagi tau. Apa dia? Siapa yeah. yang uh, best, best bekerja collab, sama? Yes. Selain pada Kelabu Man. <laughs> Selain daripada uh, Kelabu Man. Selain daripada Kelabu Man. Artis ke apa? Anyone actually. Artis hmm. ke producer uh, ke? I would say uh, producer lah. Navigator. Uh-huh. Oh. I rasa I selesa kerja dengan dia. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. Navi yang buat like lagu? Lagu Ngam dengan Ngam. lagu Nah ni. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, dia memang uh, Navi yang buat. Sebab Navin dia kalau dia nak bagi tahu I macam pasal melodi ke uh-huh. pasal lyrics ke dia akan dia akan bagi tahu straight up and I akan faham. Mm-hmm. Ah, so it's like a natural uh, connection lah right yes, there. Yes and also bila I ada idea contoh about the the story of the song ataupun how the music video for the mm-hmm. song mm-hmm. I can express kat dia and dia akan faham and dia akan tahu juga macam mana nak um, buat the whole song tu jadi macam mana Complex. my vision wow. juga ha, macam tu so Damn. dia dia senang baca mind i lah <laughs> dia macam dia tu senang baca sikit tapi macam mana you boleh fikir music video dulu sebelum habis ni lagu um, oh, you, oh, oh, you, oh you reverse the process you thought of the music video like ada uh-huh. vibe vibe dia uh-huh. macam tu uh-huh. tak okay. sebab bila i tengah tulis lagu tu tapi i tengah halfway tulis uh-huh. um, so i akan fikir i akan I, kalau lagu I buat, I kena nampak visual. Visual eh, dia. Visual. Mm-hmm. Macam I nampak tak benda ni dalam visual. Mm-hmm. So, tiba-tiba kalau nampak dia, I tahu okay, lagu ni boleh siap. Ah. Sebab, sebab I dah nampak dah visual tu. Faham tak? Faham tak? Dia macam dia kena nampak You kena ada vision. Kalau you tak nampak uh-huh. vision lagu you tu, dia macam hmm, nak pergi mana lagu ni. Uh-huh. Ah, faham tak? Yeah, so yeah, I yeah, guess yeah, it yeah, ties betul. back to your whole thing yang macam kena ada vibe tu kan? So you see the vibe yeah. and then you express the vibe through the words. Yeah, so, the so I it. tahu yeah. macam apa benda yang I buat ni correlate sebab it makes sense kalau I tarik dia as a gambaran. Mm-hmm. Ah, macam uh-huh. gambaran lah selain sound. Uh-huh. Ah, sebab kita tengah buat sound kan? Uh-huh. Ah, so gambaran tu Kena tak dengan sound ni? Ha, yeah, macam, okay, yeah, I ada yeah, idea. Yeah. Ha, macam tu. Macam mana nak intro lagu ni dengan apa yang cerita yang I nak sampaikan. Ha, ah. Dua-dua kena combine. Betul. Oh, that makes sense. Oh. Kan? Yeah, ha, that makes sense. Damn, I like that. Yeah, hmm. sebab... Uh, that Content. Masa, uh, contoh kan? Uh, macam tiba-tiba I tengah ni ni, macam... Huh? 
Oh, okay, okay. Dah tahu dah TikTok dia macam mana. Yeah, ha, yeah, you yeah, yeah, macam, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you kena tahu lah, okay. K- kalau kalau TikTok, dia akan jadi macam mana. Mm-hmm. Content TikTok. Kalau ni, dia akan jadi. Tapi benda tu macam very ikut luck. Sebab mm-hmm. kena jadi, kena tak jadi. Ya, ya, ya. So, menari tu, as usual, orang akan tahu dah I menari. So, mm-hmm. dia macam very normal. Mm-hmm. Orang tengok. Tapi, I still akan buat. Mm-hmm. But then, I akan buat juga macam lyrics I. Um... Siapa salah, siapa kalah, siapa atas, siapa bawah. So, mm-hmm. so I tahu macam nak buat content macam mana mm-hmm. macam sub, uh, transition. Yeah, transition. you guys think of all those. Uh, so, so yeah, 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 I, yeah. I tahu I punya lirik tu tak terlalu deep. Mm-hmm. So kalau orang nak menggunakan uh, audio tu untuk apa kind of content boleh juga. Ah, uh, mm, macam tu lah. Ada kucing ke? Ah, atas bawah, atas bawah. Still tapi lepas. tapi ah. dia kena orang tu kena rajin nah. Yeah, tak, faham. Kalau orang tu tak kena transition tu atas bawah. <laughs> Dibenarkan buat Atas Damn. bawah pijak ha, Betul lah hmm. Pijak tukar tempat lain ha. Ha, Ni kenapa ni <laughs> ah, Mitam uh. Tapi bagus lah Bagus lah uh, Sebab tu aku cakap Sofia ni seorang yang power yeah. Dari segi yeah, penulisan lah Masa dia tulis pun Dia dah fikir Apa content nak buat Untuk lagu tu Yeah She really thinks like Two three steps ahead yeah, lah do. Yeah Which is really good Yes Okay lah, hmm. okay lah. Well you mm-hmm. don't play yourself like that Betul Don't do that Jangan, yeah. kalau dengar ni jangan buat jangan, macam tu cakap, yeah, Alhamdulillah, yeah. thank you Memang yeah. susah nak buat tu yeah. Tapi Alhamdulillah Someone appreciated something about you So don't downplay it Don't ever downplay it mm. Thank you Okay, mm. kita, aku rasa kita dah sampai penghujung ah, Penghujung, penghujung okay. masa well, Before penghujung, we always have one last thing we do Betul If you have something to say to your younger self out there uh-huh. What would you say? Um, I would say Don't be lazy. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not lazy before. <laughs> Tiba <laughs> explain my thing. Dah explain. Tapi tadi cakap don't be lazy, aku <laughs> terasa. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck them. Maksud <laughs> I, <laughs> macam just trust your instinct better. Mm-hmm. Because actually at the end of the day, whatever you do, you dah think through dah sebenarnya. Mm-hmm. Cuma you kena act on it more. Mm. Act fast. Ah, uh, 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 just don't let it slip by lah. fast. Uh, okay. Act faster uh-huh. Supaya uh-huh. lebih muda Macam yang I menyesal sebenarnya I patut start benda ni Umur 20 uh, Macam uh-huh. tu When did you start then? 20 lebih 24 mm. kot okay, uh, uh, okay. Kalau I 20 I ada lagi masa uh, yeah. Macam tu yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a good point <laughs> so, Macam okay So so mistakes in between tu Patutnya time tu Sekarang yeah. tak boleh buat mistake sangat Ya yeah, uh, faham Betul, betul. Yeah. Okay. So act faster I like that. Wow. I like that. Okay, all okay. right. Okay, right. and 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 uh but I have I have no problem with love lah. Oh, okay. But then, okay, okay. Asli asli tak apa. Budak, go, go, budak go. Sofia tu dia tak tahu apa tu. Ah. Bagi bagi tahu sekarang. The young Sofia tu ah, tak tahu. Dia tak tahu. Kita <laughs> cakap dengan young Sofia ah. tu. Eh, hey, listen up. Ah. Okay. No, no. Young Sofia was okay. Okay, memang ah. dilema sangatlah dengan yeah. lelaki <laughs> time tu kan. Ah. Tapi it still make it cuma I think don't Worry about love yet. Ah, betul betul. Tanya kau, Isau, saya love tu ada ada lah, tak ada tak ya. Betul. Dengar ah, tu Yang Sofia. Yang, yang Sofia. <laughs> you are a Jedi. Wow. <laughs> Damn. May the force be with you. Damn. Are you secretly a geek? You tahu Power Rangers, you tahu Star Wars right now. <laughs> I, I I love this. I love this. Why why do uh, we start with this? What the fuck? I I love Star Wars. What the fuck? I watch all. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Do you do you like the new three ones? The, the um, recent trio the recent trio okay lah sebab dia 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 baru dekat mata kita semua yeah, kan faham. so dia susah so, hadam sikit ah uh, dia susah hadam uh. and i don't know why mm-hmm. i must ke anakin faham faham anakin skywalker faham. so when when, kecil, when, yeah. when dia jadi lah huh? <laughs> when dia jadi darth vader pun yeah, i actually betul. suka dia i <laughs> faham <laughs> dia i faham dia i faham dia i actually yeah. suka yeah. dia faham. i faham That's why I suka look tu dengan Princess Leia. That's mm-hmm. why I suka because they are from Anakin Skywalker. Faham. Yeah, yeah tiba. Cita pula. I like that. I like that. <laughs> okay, kita uh, mungkin akan sambungkan Mr. Star Wars untuk next episode. Oh, I think we should. Team <laughs> <laughs> semua semua pakai ni, costume. Oh, boleh tu. Oh, that would be so fun. Oh, that would be so fun. Boleh, boleh, boleh. Okay, yeah. alright. So, while we think about our next episode, please, when you have the time, go stream uh, Sophia's new song. Betul, okay, nah. Okay, right. We put the link down below. Yes. All right, okay. So, until then, we'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye. All right, bye-bye. Thank you. Ciao. Mwah. Really? Yeah. Kak, boleh tak suruh dia stop benda tu, Kak? Tak, dia buat Mwah. Sophia pun Mwah tau. Sophia tak apa, dia guess. Oh. Kau, kau. <laughs> Aku rasa violated <laughs> tak?
Okay, aku aku slow kan <laughs> sikit lah. Ni punya budak. Betul tak? Every time aku edit kan, aku dengar tu kan. Sorang sorang dalam bilik. This is wrong. Macam okey lah. Macam <laughs> good job, Akim. This is wrong. Macam tu. Good job, Akim. Fuck off. Well done, Akim. <laughs>